let's take a uh, a couple moments and, and take a deep breath, center ourselves, center ourselves on this fourth Sunday of Advent. So let's let's breathe, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in. And as you breathe in, be filled with the Spirit of God, God's love, God's joy, God's peace. Trust in that. And breathe out, as you, as you breathe out, breathe out your, your fears, your anxiety, your doubts, your, your sin. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, center yourself in, in God's presence. And let me share with you today uh, from the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 1, verses 46 through 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. His mercy is for those who fear Him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with His arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and, and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and, and sent the rich away empty. He has helped His servant Israel in remembrance of His mercy, according to the promise He made to our ancestors to Abraham and to his descendants forever. My soul magnifies the Lord, Mary sings. I love that phrase, that, that image. My soul shows off all that God is doing. My, my life holds up a magnifying glass to, to God's desires, to the, to the inner workings, enlarges the details, expands what God, what God is doing. My soul magnifies the Lord. And she sings this after, after she discovers that she's, she's pregnant, pregnant with, with God, with Jesus, with a king, with, with something that the whole world has been waiting for, whether they realize it or not. And she's just a girl, an ordinary girl, not, not rich, not famous. She's not an Instagram influencer or, or model, just a regular, ordinary girl pregnant with God, full of potential and possibility, ready to bring Jesus into, into what is often a, a broken and, and cruel world. My soul magnifies the Lord, she sings. What is happening in and through me is a close-up of what God is doing in and through all of creation. Zoom in on me and, and you see God's love scattering the proud, bringing down the powerful from their thrones, lifting up the lowly, filling the hungry, sending the, the rich away empty. All of God's promises, all of God's purposes remembered. All those promises. I remember where we've been over these last few months. We reached for a piece of fruit instead of for God. We, we turned to a cow instead of the real thing. Met, mess everything up. Uh, now we have broken relationships with, with each other, broken relationships with the earth, broken relationships with God. So God, God promises to, to restore things, to renew things, to, to bring harmony again. God, God chooses to bless the world through Abraham and, and his family, rescues a people from slavery in Egypt, is establishing a new kind of kingdom, reaching out even to the people of, of Nineveh. God is setting things right, Mary sings turning things on their head, flipping things upside down, or, or really more like it, turning this upside down world right side up, filling the hungry, sending the rich way empty, lifting the lowly, evening things out. 
I know this is happening in the world, Mary says, because it's happening in me. My soul magnifies the Lord. And she sings all of this because, because she's going to give birth to a boy, and not just any boy, but the, the son of the Most High, a, a king of an unending kingdom of, of peace. And really, really, we're all invited to, to bring to birth Christ into this world. Not in the exact same way as Mary, but, but to let our lives show what God is doing. Be a magnifying glass for, for God's love and joy and, and grace and peace. So that when others see us, that when we spend time with people, people see hope, see Jesus. What, what really impresses me the most about Mary is that she's invited to, to be a part of bringing Christ into this world and, and she says yes. Yes, she says. Here I am, a servant of the Lord. Let it be with me as, as you choose. My soul magnifies the Lord. Again, just a girl, again, again, not rich, not famous, not especially talented, just willing to say yes. Yes, when, when so many of us say no or, or we offer excuses. I don't really have time for this, God, we say. Or, or what about, I? let's just stick to this worship you once a week thing and not worry about lifting up the lowly or, or feeding the hungry or... Or what if I get hurt? Or what if they take advantage of me? Or God, how, how will we figure out the, the finances of, of this? Or, or God, it's 2020. And you, you know what this year has been like. Or, or God, I've got everything planned out and, and this doesn't really fit. Or God, can't you just find someone else? Or, or, I, I've heard all these stories about you, but I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really sure I buy them. I'm not, I'm not really sure they're real. How, how can I share that with with others? All our excuses. That, I've said many of them myself. But what would it look like for us to say yes? To make that a daily decision, a daily choice, to bring Jesus into our in, into our lives, let Jesus into our lives and into this world, to let our lives be a magnifying glass for God's love. Mary says yes, and she has no idea what this will mean for her life or how they'll go from here or what anything will look like. She just, she just wants her soul to magnify God, to bring all that God is doing in, into focus, to magnify, to to zoom in on, on God's love and peace. My soul magnifies the Lord, she sings. D does mine, D does yours. Let let's pray together. Lord, may our souls, may our lives be filled with Christ so full that, that, that we're just bursting with Jesus, that others might, might see and know your love, your joy, your peace, your hope for this world. May we be the people that you have called us to be. And we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So may your soul, may your life magnify all that God is doing. And may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, 
May he protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he's shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.